The symbol of Subotica, the city hall, is an architectural wonder of Serbia and a monument of one period. It is one of the best-known achievements of the torchbearers of Art Nouveau in Subotica, the architects from Budapest, Deja Jakab and Marcel Komor. Although it was built from 1908 to 1910, because of the furnishing works it was not completed until 1912. It is a remarkable example of a fusion of architecture and artisan crafts. This huge building dominates the center of Subotica. It is the first protected architectural monument in the Art Nouveau style on the territory of Vojvodina with elements of Hungarian folk art. The most striking is the main entrance which, by means of a luxurious staircase, leads into the flamboyant area of the first floor with three halls, the Grand Hall and the Yellow and Green Halls. The Grand Hall has plenty of decorations in wood, exceptional stained glass windows, brass lamps and chandeliers. The most impressive elements in the hall are the stained glass windows by well-known Hungarian stained glass artists Miksa Rot and Sándor Nagy, which are considered to be the most valuable contributions to fine arts from the beginning of the 20th century. On the other side of the official part of the city hall are tax offices, well-lit rooms separated from counters and clients by glazed sections. The ceiling is richly decorated with craft emblems. The handsomely carved green-colored benches surrounding the pillars make for one of the most beautiful interior parts of the city hall. Apart from the other materials present in the interior decoration, particular decorative eminence is achieved with use of the Jolne ceramics that dominates the ceremonial staircase. Each square tile represents one craftsman or a symbol of a particular craft. The Jolne factory also made the multicolor tiles for the city hall roof. The city hall was built as a modern administrative and commercial center, a purpose it retains to this day. The ground floor is occupied by commercial premises, while the first and second floors are used by the tax administration and the offices of other necessary city services.